Now, your local Storm Tracker 2 forecast. Welcome back, everyone. 514 right now as we are looking out toward downtown Chicago. All right, so as we start off the day, you can see a beautiful sunrise over toward that side of the country, but over toward our neck of the woods, we are still waiting a couple hours on that sunrise. You can see downtown Spokane, still a little bit of fog development to start off our uh, Thursday morning. Roads are still slightly slick. Yesterday, we saw plenty of those uh, de-icer trucks headed out on the roads to uh, start clearing those up as it was still a, a slippery commute yesterday evening. We're continuing to see uh, the effects of that snowfall from the previous night, where even though you may not see the snow on the roads, doesn't mean that the roads aren't slick. So we're still keeping an eye on those. Uh, one thing that is still in effect is an avalanche warning. Nothing for Washington State or through most of Idaho, but this is in effect over Lookout Pass. Um, simply because of the amount of snow that we've seen over the last several days and of how unsteady that snow is. So it's suggested that if you're around these areas that you're of course not going into any of those uh, high snowfall areas uh, without any plans to do so or without being on any of the major roads. Satellite radar is showing very little activity uh, when we remove the cloud cover. So just radar itself showing a couple stray showers making their way just south of uh, I-90, but those are really, really light in magnitude. They're not really doing it much at all. North of I-90, we're not seeing anything. So again, that high pressure, uh, which denotes clear skies, drier weather, that is the case going into our Thursday. Right now we have that dry weather beginning and it's going to continue all the way through about the middle of next week. Seasonably cool temperatures, which are just around average. But again, morning frost and fog are kind of inevitable in these situations. When we have a lack of any strong wind or rain or snow, it provides a very good base ground for that fog to develop. And of course, since temperatures are below freezing, frost is still the case. Forecasted temperatures by the time we get to just about 2 p.m. are going to be hovering in the mid 30s through most areas. A couple spots toward North Idaho are not going to be even making their way above freezing. So uh, even toward that northeast corner of Washington, Kettle Falls 32 degrees, Deer Park 32, Spokane 34. But down south toward the Palouse, we are looking at uh, mid to upper 30 degree temperatures, maybe even hitting the 40s. So. I want to show you future tracker. There's almost nothing showing up on here aside from a good amount of cloud cover to end the day today. Uh, by the time we get to tomorrow, a couple straight snow showers are going to be popping up over western Montana. Uh, nothing toward Washington or North Idaho, really, and we don't really expect those snow showers over western Montana to affect any of North Idaho. On the seven day, temperatures are, again, just around the mild range, so uh, nothing above average significantly or below average, uh, but just around the average itself. Cloudy skies for today, which actually we should see the sun peak out for a portion of the day, uh, and you can see that dry weather continues all the way into next week. A stretch of dry weather is headed our way.